Loppy Fit Walking Bike. The idea of taking your treadmill out to the street might sound crazy. Nevertheless, exactly that inspired gadgeteer Bruin Bergmeister and his creation became quite famous all over the world. He created a new and unique vehicle, a hybrid between an electric bike and a treadmill. The device has no pedals, and it uses electricity to move around. To start traveling around, you need to put your right leg in the platform and use your left leg to gain impulse. After that, a special sensor detects the movement and the bike starts going, while the user runs on the treadmill as if he were at home or in the gym. The electric motor allows reaching a speed of 15.5 miles per hour, which compared to the 2.5 miles per hour of a person is quite impressive. In other words, the owner of this bike can walk with the speed of a bike and travel more than 30 miles on his feet. This unusual means of transport is 7.2 feet long, 1.3 feet wide and 3.9 feet tall. The bike works with a lithium-ion battery with six different modes, protected by a steel body. At the moment, you can find the Loppy Fit walking bike in six different colors – red, orange, blue, white, black and silver and buy it for $2,237. Bird of Prey Unlike other, more normal bikes in which the driver is sitting, the creators of this bike propose the owner to drive while lying almost parallel to the ground. This body posture increases aerodynamics and reduces the effort and the load in the backbone allowing even people with back problems to enjoy a ride. The position of the bike driver is similar to that of swimmers or birds in flight. The body is held by the thigh, and it's quite comfortable to move the pedals. The bike also has a low center of gravity, and the frame is made of aluminium, also allowing riding even faster. Despite the strange body posture, this vehicle is completely safe. Even if the driver has to brake suddenly, the driver would not end up flying in the air. This horizontal bike can be bought for $4,800. Quiggle Bike Compact and foldable bikes are one of the trends of our modern world, and in this case, the lighter the bike, the better the ride. This is the main idea behind this bicycle, sort of a hybrid between a scooter, a bike and a motorcycle. The unusual construction forces the driver to ride practically in an upright position, Although there is a seat, but it's used more for support and to avoid falling back. To be honest, the bike is quite peculiar, but the developers say that this position is comfortable and helps you to avoid overload in the backbone, the neck and the shoulders. Despite its strange look, the bike can be disassembled in 10 seconds, and it's quite compact, measuring 21.6 inches by 15.7 inches by 9.8 inches in its folded state. The bike is ultra-light, weighing 18.7 pounds, a lot less than similar bikes on the market. The frame is made of aluminium, the bike is equipped with solid wheels and a plug-in handle and a bending frame in the back. It also has enlarged compressed air tires and extra protection in the wheels and brakes. The vehicle isn't on the market yet, but will be soon and its price will be around $1,500. The Buy Simple This bike's main feature is that it works without your usual chain system. In order to ride it, you just have to spin the back wheel's pedals and the bike will move as usual. The Buy Simple works basically as a circus unicycle, but it's been upgraded and it's great to use in the city. The lack of a chain called for a series of other changes, so instead of your usual triangular frame, the wheels are connected by a crank arm axis with two parallel tubes for more rigidity. The front part of the bike, as usual, allows you to control the bike, while the back part comes with a seat. The lack of a separate pedal gear allowed the developers to bring together the wheels, making the bike more maneuverable. For example, this design makes it effortless to overcome any obstacle in your way. Right now, this vehicle can be bought in two different sizes depending on the height of the driver. You can buy the basic version for $800 on Kickstarter. Halbrad This bicycle created by a German developer has a unique construction and looks like half a normal bike, making it different from any vehicle in the market. 
Nevertheless, the producer assures that the Halbred is great for city environments. The device has a big rear wheel and a small front wheel. The triangular frame makes it easy to transport, and given the size, you don't even have to fold it. The bike is 38 inches tall, 31 inches long, and it weighs 22 pounds. The bike features a two-speed drivetrain and a coaster brake. It also has a 35-inch turning radius and can stand by balancing the front wheel and pedal. It's worth noticing that the usual bike handlebar was changed by a control lever placed on the back of the driver. The bike comes in three colors and its price is around $1,500. Running Shoe Bike This unusual bike was duly noted at the Prudential Ride London in July 2016. The main feature of this bike, which otherwise is similar to any other bike in the market, is that it doesn't have tyres. Instead of tyres, the arms of each wheel are equipped with six identical running shoes. So that's why many know this vehicle as the running shoe bike. Truth be told, you can't find it on the market, and the bike, created by traveller Steve Biggs, is considered a bumpy vehicle. Bionic Runner This is another bicycle that imitates the process of running. The Bionic Runner has no seat and uses a special construction to protect the owner from injuries in the feet. This vehicle actually looks like a training machine to work the middle part of the feet and the same muscles you use when running, but protecting them from the load of running in hard surfaces. The device has a folding aluminium frame and it's easy to transport in the trunk of any car. The construction also comes with a mechanical disc brake and an 8-speed transmission that lets you regulate the effort and change your gear depending on your necessities. The bike weighs 40 pounds and the price goes from $890 to $1500 depending on the model. Walking Bike Sadly, this bike is not going to hit the market, but it's still one of the strangest bikes on today's video. The front wheel, the frame, the handle and the pedals look just like usual, but instead of a rear wheel, the creators installed a series of metallic elements similar to the legs of a spider. Apart from the usual elements of a normal bike, the device has more than 450 metallic pieces and 120 plastic plugs. This vehicle underwent a long making process, from being a mere 3D model to a regular sized bike, but it's still not going to be on the market anytime soon. The bike can reach a huge speed, but can only travel through flat surfaces. Nevertheless, the effect is quite cool and it's been shown in several exhibitions. Paravelo Flying Bike The creators of this project have joined the new trend of creating new, weird bikes, and they've developed a vehicle that can travel on the earth and in the air too. This singular three-wheeled bike is equipped with a turbine, an engine and a paragliding-like wing, which you can carry in a bag in the back of the driver. The person riding this unusual vehicle can decide to travel through land using your usual wheels and pedals combo, or better, fly through the air with the help of a powerful engine. And you don't even need a takeoff runway to fly away. The paragliding wing and the turbine allow the bike to take off really quickly and 10 feet of free land would be enough. This unusual flying vehicle weighs only 74 pounds. It can reach a height of a mile and a speed of 24 miles per hour. The fuel would be enough to fly for three hours. You can buy this flying bicycle and forget about traffic for only $45,000. The Jet Bicycle this bicycle, powered by a homemade jet engine, is considered the most dangerous in the world, and we can't argue with that. It is as crazy as it looks, said about his creation a British inventor, famous for many other crazy ideas. The jet engine is longer than usual by 15 inches from the back seat and the homemade turbines, and can reach an incredible speed of 50 miles per hour, making it quite dangerous both for the driver and the people around. Riding at a speed of 30 miles per hour is quite pleasant, but at a speed of 40 miles per hour, the bike is very shaky and extremely difficult to control. The tires can't withstand the pressure, and the chances to die are quite high. 